Hello, welcome to Career Rail. We are a team of 74 members based in Japan and the United States. We are proud to present our readiness for the 2024 University Robert Church. Several collaborative design decisions have been made in partnership with members from the U.S. and Japan, resulting in a finalized design featuring a four-wheel configuration. The choice is geared towards weight reduction while facilitating the use of large 38 centimeter wheels. This improves navigation over rough terrain and allows for higher ground clearance. The wheels are crafted through 3D printing and incorporate aluminum plates on both sides for increased rigidity. A rubber tread is wrapped around the wheel to increase traction durability. The chosen motors are PID controlled by the main computer and exhibit high torque capabilities, provide necessary strength, and offer plenty of speed to successfully execute each mission. The low bulk features the differential suspension. The design changed from bird to gearbox differential allows for better stability on flat and dark terrain, as well as mobility on slope of about 20 degrees. The chassis is constructed with an aluminum box frame and a removable wall for ease of access. By dividing the enclosure to two sections, it allows for the main electrical component to stay in place, while allowing space for components corresponding to the mission to be swapped out. Our rover has three forms for various missions. The team can quickly change components required for each individual mission. The rover, powered by two, three, and six cell lithium polymer batteries for its actuators, includes an e-stop button for emergencies. In addition, the computers operate on stable 5 and 12 volt mobile batteries. Emission modules, power inlets, LAN, and USB ports are all consolidated for swift exchange. Additionally, a communication tower with a 360 degree camera, GPS, and halo antenna enables communication at a distance of at least 1.5 kilometers, with LED lightings indicating manual control, stop, or autonomous movement. An advantage of having an international team is that we were able to test many variables in our design efficiently, and this was evident in the final construction of the arm. What resulted was a six degree of freedom mechanism that has a strength and dexterity to accomplish any task thrown at the rover. Rover can transport heavy objects, flip switches, turn knobs, open drawers, and many more. Our arm features five worm gears and one linear actuator. Worm gears allow for a simple braking mechanism with precise end effector control, while the linear actuator allows us to lift up heavy objects with great stability. The hand features sliding fingers powered by a ball screw and worm gear, providing constant power with the self-locking mechanism. Lasers and cameras are placed on the rover for the operator's convenience at the base station. Our arm is controlled by sending coordinates in the workspace, so the hand can move to the target smoothly. In a navigation mission, we divide development in three essences, GPS navigation, outlook of detection, and object detection. In GPS navigation mode, stereo VSRAM generates 3D point cloud data, enabling precise cost map projection using SRAM based automatry. The optimal path is then computed using the DXTRA method. For ARCO detection, OpenCV is utilized to locate ARCO tag. Position estimation is based on the tag's size, tilt, and coordinate in the image. Object detection employs a DetectNet model powered by PyTorch, trained on the dataset exceed 2000 sample per target using GoogleNet architecture. The JSON on board supports efficient parallel processing for these intensive image processing tasks. Next, let's go to the science part. First, we search for locations for sampling using the high resolution camera mounted on the rover. Then, our full BRGM follow the database and look database show key features of the hardware place. Check that the cube indicates the scale of the train. The excavator system begins initiation analysis. It was a drum, rotates it to dig by a hydraulic servo, at solvent, mixes, then pumps the mixture into the slide analysis system. By deploying four excavator systems, analysis can be achieved without risk of contamination. The mixture is divided into five parts. Three are used for chemical reactions, one for Raman spectroscopy, and one for microscopy. For the chemical reaction, we use PCI assay, firefly luminescence, and Sudan 3 to detect amino acid, ATP, and lipid. Each reaction is induced in a cubet and observed by a camera to promote reactions and motor vibrates and containers. We use Raman spectroscopy for further detection of biomolecules. The laser is 532 nanometer to seek organic carbons such as lipids and curgeons. The tip sensor type microscope does not require lenses and focal point, which is resistant to vibrations. We draw violet light on the specimen to seek microorganisms, and we measure the scale and brightness of the sample. Also, we try to find microfossils by image analysis of roundness. After analysis, the rover undergoes sample return, doing with the in-front earth and collecting subsurface samples with a rear rover. The sound meter and soil moisture meter attached to the collector will investigate the subsurface condition. Karura is more than ecstatic to present our readiness for 2024 University Rover Challenge. <laughs>